Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of the Saturday, June 17th, 2023. Got my morning piping hot caffeinated beverage, the hotel I'm staying at directly behind me, somewhere up there on the 13th floor. Someone actually looking out the window. Oh, you can see my reflection here in the window as well. I am in San Diego, California. I'm gonna be doing San Diego things. I'm going to a game a little bit later, but this video is not gonna focus so much on the game. I did that yesterday. But to do some stuff around town. And who better to show me around than Tiki SoCal J. That's my name, that's me. I know. Tiki SoCal J. I don't know what to call you. I mean, there's Tampa J, but you're not from Tampa. You're from SoCal, so SoCal J. SoCal, sure, okay. You got some OCJ. Tiki. OCJ. OCJ. You know what that was? What's OCJ? That's a jail in Orange County. OCJ? OCJ. No, don't ask me why I know. Interesting. <laughs> That's what, I'm, what I've heard. What's on our agenda? Some what? of this, some of that. Yeah? You got, you got a tiki bar you want to take me to? A tiki? Uh, I want to head over there, yeah. All right. Some uh, really cool tiki things. Wonderful things. And we're going to go to a game a little bit later. You are a Dodger fan. Oh, yeah. Which means you will probably be rooting for the Rays tonight. These because, guys. Because they're going up against the Padres. Anytime those Padres lose, I'm a happy guy. <laughs> All right, I'm inviting you to join me at OCJ. Is that what you want to be called? <laughs> OCJ <or> works. <laughs> join me. Shall you? Now, yesterday I hung out with Chris Provost Park Pass, but he had to leave. That's some prior obligations. We went to a game yesterday. Today we'll be hanging out with OCJ, Tiki J, some sort of J. What kind of J? Any kind of J. And meeting up with a couple other friends a little bit later too. What? Yeah, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go full baseball weekend, but again, it's not, this video is not going to be completely about that. I don't even, I think I am just reiterating myself. Reiterating re yourself? Re reiter reiterating? <laughs> Let's get go. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see down into the stadium. I think I need a caffeinated beverage. You started with I already, I already had, You. I guarantee you've already had one. I've had two. On your drive over. And since it is the weekend, they are doing a little street fair over there. You just picture Tom Cruise landing a plane up there, on top of this carrier. It just feels really good out here too. But I've kind of pulled over here real quick, real fast like to show this. The sculpture, now from what I remember, I believe there's one of these in South Florida, but there's also one in San Diego. The interesting thing about the sculpture is I have always heard that the guy that's kissing the woman, a very famous photo, one of the most famous photos out there, has been created into a sculpture. But from what I had heard and read, as the story goes, the guy did not have permission to kiss this woman, and evidently she wasn't very happy after the fact, even though a photographer took a photo of it, and now it is a legendary moment. I don't think it was... Uh, it's supposed to happen, and the title of it has been known as Unconditional Surrender, which I guess is kind of a fitting name. And evidently, I was reading up a little bit on it. There was an original sculpture here that was torn down and replaced. The fiberglass was changed out, so I guess the other one that had been here for a while kind of uh, weather elements kind of got to it. It's pretty amazing with the shit behind it there. And this is right next to Bob Hope Plaza, which is right over here. A salute to Bob Hope. It feels amazing out here with the weather. They're facing the boat. jump out of the car real quick. This is like a couple miles from the hotel. I had to jump out of the car. Jay's actually waiting in the car because there was no parking down here at all. And since there's a quick stop, Jay's holding down the fort in the car and then we're gonna head over to another area. All right, while Jay had the wheel, you found a parking spot over here. I found one. You found a spot. Look at this line of cars pulling in here. All right, where's the next place we're heading to? I think it's called the Bali High on Shelter Island. 
We're going to an island? Kind of a cool little spot over there. The Bali High. The Bali High. It's real right. famous. No quotation marks. You think it's going to be as busy over there, like this beehive of activity on the island as it is here? Just look how many people are here. There's a lot of bees, that's for sure. Parking is difficult in San Diego. It's not fun. Definitely easier at the Bali High. Where'd you park the car? And there looks to be a pirate ship over here as well. A lot of ships here on the water. Uh, a lot of Padres banners through here as well. Take a look at this pirate ship. A sailing ship. That is pretty dang. Star. The Star. Are you sure that's a pirate ship? It's the Star of India. And there's the Berkeley. And here is a yacht that I will never own. Never say never. There's a helicopter on it. Oh my god. It's got a helicopter on that yacht. Yeah, it's kind of nice to get some real San Diego vibes out here. Look at this. This is America's Cup Harbor, dedicated back in 1994. This little marina over here. Man, the weather here is so nice. Much better than the mid 90s in Florida right now. Well, this whole area over here is very tiki-ish. It is. There's hotels that are got the tiki vibe yeah. called Humphreys, Half Moon Bay Inn. You should drive by over there too. See, there once I saw a concert there right on the water. It's incredible. Yeah, a lot of tiki vibes. So the place you want to show me is over here. What's the name of it? The Bali High Restaurant. The Bali High. The goof on the roof. Let's go over there so I can take a look at it. You can also oh, see the, sky, the skyline over there too, San Diego. Yeah. It's a sweet old van down there. Just take a look at the skyline off in the distance. Beautiful San Diego skyline. On a very nice day out here. I'm noticing how this Osprey here is like standing on the things that make it where a bird can't stand on it. So he's just like, no, I'll just stand in the middle of this. I'm not even going to be distracted by this, this bird deflection device. He's just like perched on it. All right, so that is the goof on the roof. Is that on what you're top, calling it? That's the goof on the roof. Yep, and then on the down below by the door, front door is Mr. Bali High. Okay, so Mr. Bali High is over there as you enter in? Correct. Now, what's the backstory on it being called the goof on the roof? Well, they, uh, there was a movie in, on, in Catalina with a Clark Gable was in it and they had like a Polynesian uh, themed like area or town or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And that was in the movie? And there was a, a bar in the movie I believe and they had the goof on the roof on it. That's the goof on and the roof. Transported from Catalina to here in San Diego. So they, now here they have mugs on both of those guys I believe. So you can get that on a mug? The goof on a roof? Mug version, yep. Do you have that mug? There's a lot of versions. I have a version, yeah. You have a version. A version. Or two. But there's, yeah, there's a lot of them. The Bali High. The thing I like about Jay is very up to date and informed on tiki knowledge yes. and good tiki spots. Tiki goodness. Look at all these cool flowers over here. Like, look at those flowers. There's such cool, colorful flowers over there. Are those petunias? They are actual, legit. Petunias? Petunias. So, what's this called again? The Bali, Mr. Bali High. Mr. Bali High, named after the Bali High restaurant. Yep. Very cool. Ooh, I see the mugs in the window. Ooh. Right here. I want them. I want them all. And other different versions of them. A lot of different versions of them. Kind of tough to see them though through the reflection. I'm sure they have some more inside. But yeah, there's a bunch of different versions of these. Nice. Now this is kind of neat. It's a map here of the South Pacific Ocean. So you got Easter Island over here, which I've cut. Those are kind of a notable notable design and then you got cook islands here so all the different kind of formations fiji islands some of the well, there's hawaii there polynesian stick chart navigation maps like the, were used like this and for the early polynesians to undertake voyages across thousand miles of sea it's a lot more difficult back then than it is now by just typing something in your gps on your phone yeah i would have survived back then that would that would be hard to find my way around. Ooh, I am seeing a pirate ship. This view in here is in freaking 
incredible. There's a pirate ship out on the, on the Take a look at this out here. Oh my God, these, these boats are going really fast. These sailboats, there's that pirate ship going across the water. I'm assuming it's the bay, a bay. I think that pirate ship is racing that sailboat. Here we go, toothpick holders, Mr. Bali High and a toothpick holder. <laughs> they call it something else now, but yeah, Disney. Disney and Universal both call them toothpick holders. This place is great. Oh, look at that little blowfish up there. So you're saying you think maybe these came from Oceanic yeah, Arts? A lot of this stuff was from Oceanic Arts. Over in Whittier? Arts. Oh yeah. No Our, longer in Whittier, but... No longer in Whittier. We spent a lot of time at Oceanic back in the day. So many good times. I actually own a tiki from Oceanic. It's in my apartment in celebration. Full-size tiki that I bought from them years ago. Hold on to that. Hand-carved ceremonial canoe. Marquisan ceremonial canoe, hand-carved. It's a tiki tour. It's happening right now. Definitely a cool vibe through here. Tiki vibes. One day when I finally buy a house, I'm gonna have a a tiki backyard or tiki little trumpets. There's a specific name for those. Tulip trumpets? I don't know. I don't know my flowers. I don't even know what a petunia is for. Those are tulips you said? I don't know. I just don't. I honestly don't know. Oh, my mom were here. She would know. She, my mom has the green thumb in the family. What is planting tulips? I don't know. They look like, tr they look like trumpets though. Was that a trumpet noise you just made? Yep, that's a flute sound. <laughs> You're making a flute. Is it a jazz flute? Who am I? <laughs> Jay Burgundy? Made a short walk over here to this hotel, which has a very cool architecture up top and a very interesting design here in the front. The establishment is known as Humphreys Half Moon Inn, and it is very nice. Now, this is very interesting. So this almost looks exactly like when Disney does the Polynesian Resort maps. This is like identical. They have taken the, the template of Humphrey's Half Moon Inn. That almost looks like I'm at Disney's Polynesian at Walt Disney World when I look at the guide map as I'm walking around. This definitely gives me those vibes. I'm sure this probably place was first. What year do you think this place opened? Uh, I think it's been here for a while. So probably before the 70s. Probably. Yeah, so definitely this is the, this is the original. Oh, lurking over in the bushes. We got a tiki over here with a grass made hair piece over here. Look, I they, could use one of those too. A grass hair piece? I would, I would love one. They have hub grass here too. Check out, look at this, there's hub grass everywhere. I still need to get one of those hub grass is my favorite color t-shirts that they have. Look at this bird right, up. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to distract your bird, but that's a fountain here. Yeah, this is nice. Tiki torches. Think they have dole whips here? I'm sure they have dole whips here. Got some ducks down there, got some koi fish. Whoop, got a, what are those, what kind of birds are those? Pigeons? Brown, brown ones, there's gray ones. Look at all those ducks down here. Parrots are staring at us, but also there's tiki staring at us. He's not so happy. It's a not so happy tiki. There's another cheeky right there, lurking in the bushes. Got the koi down here. And if anyone's playing a drinking game and they're uh, drinking every time I say the word tiki, yeah. it's not gonna end well for them, so do not do that. How about tortoise? You see that red-eyed tortoise right there? Red-eyed tortoise. He's got the red eyes. Must have had a rough night last night. Yeah, went in San Diego. That's true. That was... Wow. The locals are getting restless. Red-eyed tortoise. Now there is a porch for one of the rooms right next to these parrots. But just off camera, there are people sitting on their porch and these parrots are talking to them, having a conversation with them and staring into their souls. There's also water. Their families and friends are. We were. So they have live bands play out here. Got the stage here. That's great. But if you're here and you want to see a concert, that would be the room to have right up there. Or if you're trying to sleep, that would be the room you would not want. 
also very there's cool. a very unique structure over here like they're having a picnic there's all kind of events happening out here because it is the weekend they have the table set up this very unique gazebo in the picnic area take a look at this thing all right another spot here trader mort's this is a cool looking building liquor and deli yeah they sell mugs here too do you have one i don't have one from this place i have one that was based on the on the tiki out front yeah oh it's based on the tiki out front yeah from trader look at they got some of the mugs right here in the window they sure do how much for the tiki in the window i kind of wish i had some room in my luggage to get some of these collectible mugs all these places have been going but i just haven't i don't have the room in my carry-on look at this this is a cool place trader mort's shelter island trader mort's right here in fact this actually says trader mort's here on Shelter Island. Yeah, there's a nice little tiki there. Yeah, like again, I've said the word, I've said the word tiki. 8,764, oh, they have t-shirts as well. There we go, take a look at this. Look at this, this is their uh, this is their little mascot right here holding a surfboard. Trader Mort's. What is it? Oh yeah, look at that. So these are all customized for Trader Mort's? No, 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 a lot of these you can get. A lot of these you can get elsewhere? Okay, so these you can get at a lot of different places, like the mermaid Online one. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So but these are the specific Trader Mort ones here. Correct. Yeah, there we go. Trader Mort's. So that which is the one, one you have? Is that the one you have? No, they don't sell the one I have here. Yeah. Which? How many of these do you own? I don't have any mugs from here. Really? Like that, they sold in the store. Those are Trader Mort's as well on the back. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. The green and blue ones. Is he saying? Which ones? Two yeah, those green and blue ones right there are the two bottom shelves. Oh, the two bottom shelves? Yeah. If you, if you turn them to the back, you'll see the Trader Mark print. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. Now, I do not have room for a mug in my luggage but i really like these windbreakers that they have very kind of light windbreaker so i ended up purchasing one of those an extra large windbreaker here so it's basically this version and i like it because you really don't see kind of a just a really light jacket so i got the little san diego trader mort's shelter island yeah you gonna show me something out front yeah the iconic pinky out front the iconic Tiki. It's the one I just got on the back of my windbreaker. Pretty much. Where is it? Right here to your right. Oh. Oh yeah, right here. Look at this. Got the tongue sticking out. Carved that... by Eli Headley. Oh. Who had a, a hut or a booth or a hut at Disneyland in the 60s and 70s. A little lot of Tiki's and Eli squares. Headley. Eli Headley. Which is Bamboo Ben, who does all the Tiki bars basically, basically everywhere. Yeah. Or house. Tiki bars, whatever. That was his dad. And he carved this. He did Eli this. Eli carved it, yeah. I think Ben was just here to repaint it, re retouch it up. Him, Ben, and his son. No kidding. Yeah. So a little Disneyland connection here. Totally. And Randotti and Eli Headley. The Randotti skulls. They worked together on some tiki's that they sold at Disneyland. I have a Randotti skull. Uh, yep. I Me, you, and Count Stankus did a video, yes. Toy Room of Insanity, yes. about. Randotti's. The Randotti's. The history. The yeah, we're just going full circle here. Oh, look at that. Amazing. That was years ago. Years. This is like the coolest liquor store ever. I don't even drink. <laughs> look at this. One of those boats. What the heck? It's called the Seal. Make a splash on the Seal. I was hoping we get like a little honk, but. Nothing. 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 Not even a wave. Not one person. Not even, a, they're trying to parallel park over there. It's gonna end badly. So as we were driving around, we noticed there's a classic VW bus, classic car show happening here along the water. So we have parked a few hundred yards away. We're gonna walk over and see what kind of, see what kind of stuff we can, see, can find here. All right, so it's not as classic car oriented as I thought it was gonna be, unless maybe some of the classic vehicles are down there at this end. But there is a car show going on over here. Those because I guess you consider these like sports cars. 
the newer sports cars. They're fast and they're furious. They're fast, they're furious. Yeah. I want to see some classic cars. I saw some VW Bugs down here, I think, when we were driving by. Yeah. Oh, there we go. VW Bugs. Some Vespas going by too there on that main on that main road. Classic Vespas. Classic this is a, Vespa alert. Classic Vespa. <laughs> so this was I saw some VW buses, but here's just a standard bug. And take a look at this Volkswagen. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. This thing right here is a VW as well. Take a look at that, it's for sale. I know my bugs. This is a 63. That's a 63? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 1960. All right, here we go. This is more my uh, my speed. I don't know a lot about cars, but I definitely like looking at it like an eye candy kind of perspective. I just love the look of classic cars. Oh, there's the Jack mascot right there on the top too. I am seeing a lot of Jack in the Box mascot logos lately. Petco Park had one. There's one here on this classic vehicle. Definitely a lot of cars. Mostly VWs and VW buses and bugs. V Dubs Syndicate, I believe, is the organization that's putting on. V Dub something is the organization that's putting all of this on with all the cars. Right here along the waterfront. Nice, beautiful day. Extreme Southern California, San Diego. Dare I say some of the best weather probably anywhere in the US of anywhere. I mean, I love LA weather and Anaheim weather in Orange County, but man, San Diego weather, pretty legit. A good day to see some tiki and see some classic cars and go to a game. And who knows what's going to happen to the game? The game today, first pitch is at 4.30. So the game will be over kind of early. It might be some extracurricular activities out and about around the stadium as well. As I'm waiting on the light here to turn on Pacific Highway, there's two sloths up there on the side of that building. One of them you can only see the arm, but the other, the gray sloth, just dangling from the side of that rooftop. An artistic rendering, that is. Heading back over towards the stadium and towards the Omni. At some point. Back over at the parking structure, got my Trader Mort's Windbreaker, which I will not be wearing because the weather is very, very nice. I'll wait till it cools down. Gonna go put it back up in the hotel up there and then take the sky bridge across to the game, get some food, and watch a little baseball. <laughs> Melon, mango, or coconut. I think I'm gonna go with mango. Thank you. All right, they're giving away in the lobby here of the Omni. We're gonna go up this bridge up here into the game. So I was trying to find helmet nachos, but I couldn't find the helmets, but they have this paper plate type of nacho with the tri-tip on top of it and uh, whatnot. What is that for? Oh, you're putting that in there. Also, Dennis is here wearing the raise cap, wearing the appropriate cap right there. Raise up. There you go, nice. Well, you to Greece, huh? Gavin's here also, wearing an Epcot shirt and an appropriate hat. Just cheers the tacos. Not tacos, the, uh, what do you call it? Cheers, don't leave me hanging. Nachos. Don't leave me hanging. I'm cheersing it. Here we go. Jay, also, we got the group of our four. Who's gonna win tonight? Oh, come on, the Rays are gonna kick their butts. <laughs> What's their logo? The Padres logo is what? Hello. You only lose once a day. <laughs> I like that you're going to be cheering for the Rays, even though you're not a Rays fan, just because you want the Dodgers Any to Any chance the Padres lose, I'll be there. Shall you? Huh? Are you going to shall you? I did the shall you, but you can do it. I want to do this. Shall you? Rays up. Shall you? Raise up with my Topo Chico. And it says Star Wars Week, and they have all the characters out here. Look at this. Trooper, the Emperor, Vader, Mandalorian. I'm always noticing how the third and first base coach never stand in the coaching box. And also batters never stand in the on-deck circle. Hardly ever, rarely. Oh. Rung him up. been the best game for the Rays. They've only gotten two hits. They've got no runs and they are down 0-2. Oh, two, oh two. Padres are up 2-0 to zero in the top of the ninth. So it's up to Randy, Isak, and whoever follows to... What a difference from yesterday's game. Everyone's on their feet here. 
This is a miracle. Padres are going to take this one for game two. If so, the series will be tied. conditions ever to try to get out of a ballpark. <laughs> Look at this. Like we're not even moving. took an Uber, it took about 40 minutes to go a mile and a half. That's how congested it was getting out of the, the stadium. But we are over here. Jay says that there is a hidden tiki bar in this restaurant that we are going to that he has recommended. So we're going into this demand left. Ooh, all right, we're going through. Check out this, the oc occupancy is 76. We're walking past the skulls and into the, the catacombs of this awesome tiki bar. Look at this. And here it is, False Idol. This is, they have mocktails here? They hopefully do have them here. Hopefully they have some mocktails here. But look at the size of this menu right here, man. This just is like, they got all kinds of stuff in here. All right, even the, even the napkins say False Idol, San Diego, California. So they brought a water. I am getting a mocktail. It's called a Sidewinder something. Bang. Sidewinder, Sidewinder Bang. Sidewinder's Bang. Bang. Sidewinder's Bang. All right, it's hard to hear in here, but yeah, yeah, it's like I walked into like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom inside here with the theming, etc. And uh, yeah, even more of the little like blowfish that are all illuminated right here. And then over in the corner, really cool art decor design through here as well. The place is really difficult to get into. Oh, there's some lightning and thunder going on. Oh, oh wow! Somebody ordered something that has a uh, oh. Look, there's a fire going on over there. Dang, that's awesome. Kind of like Trader Sam's at Disney, they do that for certain drinks. That's pretty neat. What drink do you have to order to get that to happen? I don't know what it's called, but it's like an Oa at the Grand Grotto. Yeah, the Oa. It's their version of that. Yeah. It's inspired. It's a whole thing. Now the bar itself is pretty awesome. It's like a shadow box style that you can kind of like go along. You can see all different artifacts and things that are scattered below in there. But the bar is pretty full up. We got a table. Yeah, you can see all different items that are like down in there underneath the bar itself. And they do have quite a bit of mock. Any of the drinks that they have alcohol, they can make it into a mocktail. So I always like going to tiki bars even when I'm not drinking. Alcohol. And this is what we're dealing with. I think everybody, everybody get the same thing. Everybody got something a little bit different. Yes, you get. What's it called? A fizzle? A 151 swizzle. A 151 swizzle. Is that all ice on top? Yeah. All right. What'd you get? Got a jet pilot. A jet pilot. Look at the little tiki guy right there on top. Got another one here. And okay. And that's there's a lot of ice in that too. That's a nice, that's a nice glass. Glass, yeah. There. So you guys all have alcohol in yours. Yep. I'm going with the mocktail. I'm being told they're called mocktails. What'd you get, Jack? These are regular hard alcohol drinks. This is a jet pilot. Very strong, right? We were just talking about Top Gun. Oh, you were talking head. about a Maverick, yeah. This is Maverick? So they, yep. they load them up, yeah. Tom Cruise's character name is Maverick. Maverick. Yeah. Yeah. And he has a lot of ice. He's Iceman. What is this? You're Iceman right there. Iceman. <laughs> Who's Goose? Goose. You're Goose. So this is, man, this is like a pretty impressive drink right here. Pretty good size. What'd you say this was comparable to? I didn't hear what you said. It's loud in here. It's very, yeah, it is loud. It's like it's a, but it looks delightful. It looks really good. It has passion fruit in it. I heard that. Passion fruit and something else. But yeah, I'm going to give this a swig here. 
We gotta do a cheers here. Oh, Everybody with the cheers. Get in the cheers here. Let's try to get it. I think we can all get in there. You gotta back up just a little bit. Alright, back up just a little bit there. Here we go. Let's cheers again. song do you like pina colada which i'm not sure who sang that song but yeah i always think of that when i think of a pina colada and jay you got a zombie i got a zombie that's kind of my thing you went full-on zombie what's in a zombie a lot of rum a lot of rum inside a zombie and dennis ended up getting i just get? got the original mai tai the original mai tai what is it a mai tai rum <laughs> all right so you guys are both pirates. Uh, you and Jay. So what did you get? I got a zombie as well. I had you got a zombie. Jay. Everybody's getting zombies. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. going full on rum. You can kind of see the side of the globe here. No, the yeah. globe. The side of the, the glass here. Yeah, the glass globe. So I've never had a, I've never had a non-alcoholic pina colada. Yeah, the glasses look pretty good. I guess they sell the glasses here, Jay would sell them. They do sell the glasses. And you can get them online. You can buy them online too. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right, do I like pina colada? Do I like dancing in the rain? I don't know how the lyrics go, but something about something in the rain. All right, round two. Round two. There's a lot of rum around me. Taking of this, you're just this? gonna pick it up and drink it. How do you no, no, no. It? This is all you. All me. Get, get, that, get your head next to the flame there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn up your eyebrows. Not too. Close. What is this called? Scorpion, scorpion such and such. Scorpion, scorpion. such and such. <laughs> 
the name of it. Scorpion something, I don't remember. <laughs> it is. That is a lot of alcohol for you guys. <laughs> go, Dennis, go. Go, no, Dennis, go. Go, go, chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Oh my god. Jay, you're just down half that thing. Glad you're not driving. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that right there is all of them. I'm watching from afar. I'm watching from afar. And this is going in hot. Look at that. <laughs> the size of All right, we are now heading out. Ah, heading out right now into the hallway. So it's kind of interesting to go down here to the restrooms, which there's a big Kool-Aid man busting through the wall down here. Oh yeah! Now walking back to the hotel. It's a good day. And a nice brisk 1.4 mile commute. Now back up to the room and turn in for the eve. And that's going to do it for today. Back at the room, looking out the window at the stadium. Rays didn't win today, but that's okay. Hope tomorrow is another day. Tied up the series one and one. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.